Alright, all the kids have gone up with the round tops. So that makes life a lot better. A whole lot better. A couple post war features of this thing. It's kind of cool that this used to be a roadway. Going down where those folks are going to the to the castle there. You used to be able to drive your vehicles up here. Park them off to the side there. And then head back down. There's an extension of Ayers Avenue. Which is pretty crazy. It's a long time ago though. But anyway. Have a wayside about sharpshooters here. It's talking about uh, Lieutenant Charles E. Hazlitt commanding the cannon to your left. Which are these guns over here. Uh, being mortally wounded after uh, there's a. Uh, Brigadier General Stephen Weed was mortally wounded. Hazlitt went over to check on him and he was killed, fell on top of him basically. And a uh, little known marker back here. Nobody ever visits, but it looks like a few folks will come back here. As you have on the back side of this an inscription about Hazlitt being wounded here. Well, it'll show up on this, but anyway, July 2nd, 1863. There's a couple of these little inscriptions up here, kind of cool. During the summer, you wouldn't have any peace and quiet up here. This place is jam packed with ma mankind. That's why I come up here when there's snow on the ground. You can actually think, anyway.